I'm Victoria Bynum, uh, the author of The Free State of Jones, Mississippi's Longest Civil War. I think one of the images of the Confederacy that often comes out of the Lost Cause version of the Confederacy is that somehow it was a government of the common white man. The Confederacy was the government created by and for the slaveholding class. New they go into the army in 1861. Which was really not an unusual thing. A person, a man, had a lot to lose by refusing to join. A lot of them had pressure to enlist. Newt says that he joined only as a medic or an orderly and uh, went, to, went to war. They're at the Battle of Corinth, you know, in 1862, getting the blown out of them. That's when the Confederate Congress in October of 1862 passed a piece of legislation which was known as the 20 Slave Law. And this was something that really struck at the heart of the class antagonism between the planters and the yeoman farmers. That law exempted from military service one white male on every plantation that had 20 or more slaves. If there were 40 slaves, two white males got to go home. If there were 60 slaves, three white males got to go home. And that didn't go over well with the agrarian class, with the yeoman farmers who were already suspect about the motives behind this war. 